Hello friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Thursday and I have your word for the day. There's an old saying that goes, are you working hard or hardly working? We usually hear that phrase coming from senior adults in our community. Well, in today's passage, Paul might have said, are you praying hard or hardly praying? As the Apostle Paul was wrapping up his letter to the Colossian church, he told them about a member of their church who was currently with Paul. His name was Epaphras, and Paul writes this beginning in chapter 4, verse 12. Epaphras, a member of your own fellowship and a servant of Christ Jesus, sends you his greetings. He always prays earnestly for you, asking God to make you strong and perfect, fully confident that you are following the whole will of God. I can assure you that he prays hard for you and also for the believers in Laodicea and Heropolis. Epaphras prayed for his church family some very specific things. He prayed that God would make them strong, that God would make them perfect, and that they would become fully confident that they're following the will of God. Who are you praying for today? Do you know members of Calvary or people in your life group that need your prayers more than you could ever possibly know? Your prayers for them today could make an incredible difference in their lives. And Epaphras didn't have the casual prayer many of us are guilty of. Paul said that he prayed hard, not for himself. He prayed hard for the rest of his church on a regular basis. And I can only surmise it's because he loved them. So who are you going to pray hard for today? Your pastors? We sure would appreciate it. Your life group? The people that sit near you in worship? First impressions team? Kids ministry leaders? Student ministry leaders? See, the, the possibilities for your prayers making a major difference today is a reality. Your hard praying can make a difference in someone's life today. So look back at Colossians 4, 12 and 13 throughout the day and pray specifically for your Calvary family. And don't hardly pray, pray hard. If today's word for the day has blessed you, then pray hard for Calvary today. God bless.